And here we go. I am Marcos Mosdi, member of Chimera Team Gaming, and today we are talking college basketball 2021 draft day sports. I should say we're playing. Uh, we're going to be talking basketball. We're going to be talking about a lot of things, hopefully, uh, in the basketball community, NBA Live. You know, it's not out there. It's been a, a couple of years now. But uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about some NBA 2K. We'll try to get it cracking. Uh, we also talk about the game itself, which I am new to. Uh, you're going to see me fail miserably, potentially. Um, we're going to go with setting up the association. We're going to talk about this screen right here, about my relationship with the developer, which is at this moment none. Um, and how I came across this game. Uh, all these things we're going to be able to discuss and more, depending on your questions, whatever you put on the chat. Uh, this is going to be a, a mellow tempo stream. Probably not a lot of excitement at first. Uh, I'm going to go see how the games are going to play out. Because, I mean, I still have to do the character creation. I'm, I got some mods there that I'm already going to input in this game because, you know, you got to have that experience. Thanks by the community. Uh, we will chat about those and all that good jazz. So for anybody that's coming into the stream, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, on behalf of Chimera Team Gaming, I always want to say thank you for coming into the stream. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us. Uh, I'll probably be looking at my phone uh, quite a bit so I can go through the tweets and messages and anything that may be out there. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, we're also probably going to talk about Outriders a little bit uh, since... One of the guys that said they were coming to the stream, H-Town32, he wanted to talk about that game. I actually played a little bit over this weekend. Yeah, so we may talk about that as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's look at what we got here. Draft Day Sports. I know you don't see it here in the corner by Wolverine Studios. Uh, they have several games. They got football, I believe. I've been in their forums lately. They got uh, basketball, pro basketball. They got college football, and I believe they also have hockey. Let me go look that up real quick while I'm here with you all, people. So view forums. I'm on their forums as well. WolverineStudios.com. They have a community there where you can, you know, check out all their sports games. So they got basketball, golf, yep, and football. So now I am not a noob to games like this. Excuse me. As I burp and coffee. Well, not coffee. Chai tea. Uh, I might be new to games like this. I play Football Manager quite a bit in the past. Uh, since 2011, actually. The last one I bought of Football Manager was last... No, this year. Yeah, this year. So it's been a while. I've, I've played quite a few Football Manager games since 20. So 10 years of Football Manager experience. i uh, I think I've played one database kind of game like this, or text game for basketball in 2009, and another one in 2014, and I haven't played one since. But without further ado, let's look at some of the stuff that we got in the menu. Look, this is one of the things that I want to talk about right off the bat. The ability to import associations from their college basketball game 20 so if you already have an experience that you have created a, a storyline that you have created you know a college or, or a coach that you want to progress into this new featured game boom they got you you're able to import that here it, this is something that I, I think very much so we should see in new games right I understand that the, the, the features may change and stuff but some of the text data that they have should be able to carry over somehow. I'm not going to get too much in there. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep it all together. And some of them is going to be... Let's say to keep it all together because I don't want to rant too early. Right? Too early, I don't want to rant. But, uh... Like my team. You know, ultimate team. Stuff like that. They can import some level of progress. You know, I understand. Because some of these things are just cards, right? And, and some of the cards should carry over. And, and they don't. But, you know, in a game like this they're already showing you that you can import college basketball association boom so you got that 
What else we got here? Tournament makers, you know. Make your own tournament. Update multiplayer association. You can have a multiplayer association. Uh, and a database editing. So it gives you like tools here so you can make the game your own. But what we're going to do is first and foremost start the new association before we get into any other topics. We're going to jump into that. Now, right now, I, I, I came into this game a couple of times. I didn't progress past, I think, six weeks. Um, but this is something that I got to tell the devs. Like, can I have a back button? <laughs> just in case I kind of just want to go do something else. Or if you are watching this uh, draft day sports, please let me know how to go back, all right? Because right now, I don't see a button anywhere where I can just go back. So, but we're going to start in challenge mode. And because I already have the mods and stuff like that, we're going to call this save Stream Save. And we're going to call this new association FAMU Game. Because we're going to play with your boy, that Ratless, and we're going to strike and strike again. And select logo of associations. Like I said, this is not in the game. This is all community. This stuff that I'm about to show is all community created. And, you know, because, and if I am messing something up, please correct me, Draft Day Sports or Wolverine Studios. Because I'm sure that this is all community created because, you know, they can't have college teams and anything like that. So this is an individual on their forums came up with all this. So I am going to use, I am going to use, the NCAA this one right here all right we're gonna do that so we're gonna start up in standard mode but you got other options you can do here and I do have the instructions on what to do on this sheet so we can get that correct I already know this one's the NIT uh, this is the NCAA tournament and I think I need to change this song let's keep coming up over and over let's let's see if we get something new if we continue to get the same songs, we're going to switch it up. We're going to switch it up. But back to our season. And let me look at some of the other tournaments that we have here. We have NIT, the CBI. And we have the other, the final tournaments, that CIT. The CIT. What do they stand for? If you know, let me know. Put it in the chat. And we are going, we already selected the logo for our association. And next we're gonna go to our settings. We're gonna use the custom file. And it's going to be import number, let me go see what the instructions say. I think it's number four. It adds the 2021 season conferences, the teams and coaches with stats. So that's the one we're going with. Open that. And for rating scale, like football manager has one through 20. This game has one through 10, or you can also make it more granular and go to one to 100. So it's like your overall. So I'm gonna go with something a little bit more granular. So in my opinion, you get a little bit more uh, accuracy on what the attributes are. So one to 100. Auto save association, allow conference movement, injury factor, you know, this is like normal. We're gonna play job pressure normal, cause I'm a noob. Right, so I'm not gonna sit here and uh, pretend to know that I know what the hell I'm talking about so far with this specific game. If this was Football Manager, I, I'd probably put the difficulty a bit higher up. But I'm gonna stick to normal right now. Prevent underclassmen declaring. And I'm guessing this is the current declaring for the NBA, so I'm gonna allow that to happen. Because in the future, I would like to point out that I am going to get the pro one and what I'm going to do is just play the college. I, this is something that you can do. And I, and, I'm, and I saw it in one of their streams. And I think it's fantastic. I am going to play the college one. Buy the pro one so I can simulate. But I can see the players from my school how they progress in the NBA. So anybody in my save that I put into the NBA game one. I can always transfer those over. And whether they're from my school or not they will be part of the draft pool right like it's gonna take a lot and you know maybe I can start a stream and content creation around that but I mainly want to focus on the college experience and just simulate and leave the pro experience to its own devices 
so yeah I'm going to try to do that we'll see how that turns out um, so right now we're focusing on this so I'm not gonna prevent this from happening I kind of want to be as organic as possible so we're gonna go from there we're gonna finalize accept settings and go to Croach creation yes sir so accept settings yep I'm, I'm gonna do that I am going to do that we're going to the next step so I think we're gonna select the picture first look at this look at this thing look at all these pictures this is this is way better than Madden <laughs> this, look at all the different hairstyles there's, there's so many pictures here look at you got the old dude I mean, obviously, the coaches are probably mostly old. 150 faces. This is great. So, wait, I think I'm having some technical difficulties. Give me a second. Let me know in the chat if you actually are able to see what I'm seeing right now, which is the pictures. So, I am going to pick a fairly young-looking cat. This guy right here, number 73. I'm going to give him a little fro. You gotta give him a little fro. All right. Closing style. Closing number four. We we want something a little bit stylish. I'm just skipping around. Let's see what number two is. Uh, that looks pretty decent. Let's go with number six. Number seven. Oh, we found one. I I I like the vest tie combo like if I cannot wear a suit and I could just go to work looking like this every day I would so we're gonna go with that combo right there the, the game's on my left by the way probably your right all right for some reason my stream pusher thanks you for coming and helping me out my my stream is frozen here so I'm glad that you guys can see it because for me it's, it's just frozen so I thought the stream was down. Thank God. Thank God. So we're going to give our guy my creator player's name that I normally give all my creator players. We're going to call him Joaquin Milton. Age. We're going to give him uh, we're gonna give him 30. We're going to give him 30. You know, young coach. Young coach. Dream job. Look at this. Now we got all the actual, all the actual colleges here all the actual colleges and I think this is the first place that we're going to go where me and you stream I'm gonna probably have a problem right because you know in college fandom one thing that that brings us all together the, the, the for his name oh actually uh, home skillet the facial expression for his names I uh, yes and I also capitalized the eye let me make sure I said Joaquin Joaquin Milton so we got him out here but back to what I was saying about the the one thing that's gonna separate us here you guys are gonna know what my favorite college team is for basketball and I have a different one for football outside of FAMU outside of FAMU right my PWI school dream job and I already know I'm gonna get killed in the chat and eventually and killed in other streams it's coming out though it's coming out I'm, I'm a little bit afraid but forget y'all haters that's what I'm gonna say at the end of this you're gonna go here oh they are we're coming down to them oh you see it right there look at these look at these bad boys the Duke Blue Devils we're going there that's the dream job and uh, you can set a password I don't think anybody's going to come to my computer and try to steal my association, but, you know, for some of the people that play PV, not PvP, uh, multiplayer mode, it's pretty serious, so I see what that's there. Ambitious level. My ambitious, I'm a very ambitious person, so I'm going to go very high. But, you know what? We're role-playing here. Take a step back. This is not me. This is Joaquin Milton. So, Joaquin Milton is going to have a high ambition level. All right. Your head was blocking that drop down. Oh. Oh, we already selected it, though. 
my big my big dome that was in the way <laughs> but we selected the you know Duke Blue Devils so I know some people that are North Carolina fans that are gonna come through here are gonna be they're gonna be butt hurt right I'm an SC, ACC guy my third favorite team is Florida State for basketball so now you know what my second favorite team favorite team for football is is Florida State my third favorite football team I don't have one of those but for college football so but for basketball it's Duke how did we get to Duke I actually want to talk about that every team that I've picked since I was a your oh I'm sorry I thought I read the same something different every team that I've picked that I love to this day was the first either the I'm gonna say either the first team I ever watched when I came to the United States or they're in Central Florida or near Central Florida. So for those out there that just want to know, I'm a Tampa Bay Lightning fan. Watch, that's the first team I, I saw when, when I got to the United States that were a hockey team. I'm an Orlando Magic fan. First team I saw, and I actually was in Miami, but I watched Orlando Magic first. I don't know how that happened, but it just happened. Um, I hate the heat. I'm a Tampa Bay Devil Ray fan. I'm probably one of the few people that still call them the Devil Rays. I think they're called Rays now. I don't think I know. Uh, I'm a Liverpool fan. Oh, wait, wrong side. Looking at the camera. Liverpool fan. That's the first soccer team I ever watched. I'm a Orlando City fan. Because uh, Central Florida. And... What other teams we got out there? I'm, I'm a Fl fan you because I'm an alumni from that school. Duke was the first college basketball team I saw play. Uh, and I saw a Christian... I, I think it was Christian Leitner. I'm, I'm sure it was Christian Leitner I saw. And everybody hated him. And I was just like, this is great. Like it. Love it. But let me fact check myself. Uh, let me fact Christian Leitner. Yep. Yep. Everybody hated him. And uh, it was great. I don't know. I just like that. I don't know why they hated him, but they hated him. And that's not my favorite player, but that's when I, I, I started watching. I watched a game, and he was part of it. So we got that. Then I'm trying to figure out what other sports. Oh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Champions. Two-time. Uh, Central Florida. Hate the Yankees. Hate the Red Sox. Hate the Orioles. Uh, who else is on the division of... The Toronto Blue Jays, I hate them too. Mm, and that's it. But anyway, continuing on. Selecting ambition level high. Select academic academics for... He's an integrity looking cat. Look at him. So it's, it's also going to be kind of high. Academics are important to him. Discipline level, we're going to go average. You know, he tries to mitigate some things. You are just a hater. Ah, for a lot of teams, yeah, I am just a hater. Especially the Heat. Oh, and Manchester United. Blech. Oh, and Everton. Blech. Well, it's a lot of teams there, right? So I guess you're right, home skill of biscuit. I am a hater. Integrity level. We're going to keep it at average. You know, he's, Joaquin Milton has that face of a guy that's trying to get away with a couple of things here and there. Temper level. I'm not going to give him my temper level. I don't even... I wish they had a little bit more description when thinking about this game, of about what this means. Like, very low temper. Like, yeah, you know, he's he's very happy. But what do these mean? In between average... This is a stone cold face right here. What is this one? This one looks like he's constipated. This one he's sad. Angry. This one actually looks worse than this one. Actually, I don't even know what this one means. So, uh, at Draft Day Sports, if you're watching this... It'd be nice to have some indication of what these means for a new player. You know, these are pretty self-explanatory, but the temper level seems a little like you can you can add a little bit some text here. Let us know what this means. And actually, and also add down here is like, hey, for any time you click on one, you probably have like a little page that comes up that says, hey, this is what the integrity level is going to do as you simulate through games and things like that. And then, yeah, same thing for temper level. So for all of them, give something. So let's see. What are we going to give them? 
you know, he, he looks like a pretty calm cat. So we're going to go with, with, with a happy temper. You know, He's, he seems like a positive individual. He has high ambition, high academic importance, a scholarly looking gent. Uh, average discipline, because, you know, some players need to be talked to differently. And then average integrity level, because we're still trying to win games. And sometimes we got to do some unsavory things to get there. Excuse me, I'm spilling chai tea all over the place. Philosophies. Again, great stuff for character creation. For a basketball game, when you're creating your coach, what, like, this is stuff that other games, other basketball games, other sports games can implement. When you, you create a coach, and when you have to have simulated seasons where, you know, the coaching is important and it matters. Player preferences, like, actually, what I see here, the higher you rate this option, the more you would prefer a veteran team. See, something like these little uh, descriptors right here should be right under these. Like, that That would be great. So, a veteran team. Joaquin Milton, he, he wants to win for a prolonged period of time, so he kind of wants teams to stay together, so he's going to prefer a veteran team. A player rotation, because you're going to have a veteran team, you also want to have, you know, some somewhat higher rotations. Make sure everybody gets involved so they don't leave. So we're going to go with that too. Offensive pace. Rakeem Milton is balanced. It's a balanced individual. So we're going to keep it there. Offensive crash boards. We don't believe in... Me and Hakeem Milton don't believe in giving up fast breaks. So we're going to get back in transition. We're not going to crash these boards too much. Just a little bit. This is not zero. You know, two ticks. Let's see. This got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So out of seven, yeah, we're going to put it down here around three. Defensive intensities. Me and Joaquin Milton understand that there's high risk and high fatigue for having intensity, but it's a necessary evil to show that you have heart and grit. So we are going to put that in defensive intensity up here. And this is all shaping the story of how our coach is going to be, how, how we're going to play this game. Defensive crash the boards, no free second chance shots. We, that, them boards are ours and nobody else's. You're going to crash that and we're going to have an average tempo anyway. This is probably going to interfere a little bit with our offensive pace because if we got everybody trying to crash the boards, we're probably not going to get out on the fast break a little bit. So let me, let me put it right, right here. We're going to be a bit aggressive. Our defensive intensity is going to put us in a good place. Full court defense. We're going to be hell of intense, so we need that on the half court. And so we're not going to go too much with full court defense. So on defense, we don't do that. What's that? You're, it's man to man. Own it up. Man to man defense. That that zone stuff. We're not going to hide anybody. If you're a scrub at playing defense, it's going to show. It's going to show. All right, what do we got? Skill setting. All right. This is where it's going to even bring us into a more immersive level. And this also goes for, like, when you're trying to play, I'm going to see the street highest level possible. Okay, choose a coach model. Let me let me start from there. I'm trying to rush to this. There's no reason to. Your skills. Choose a coach model to determine the number of starting attribute points you will have to distribute for your coach. Then select the maximum development level to determine the number of points you will have to distribute as, at, as the highest level possible your coach can achieve. Select lower point amounts to increase the challenge of the game. Select custom for both areas to be able to distribute any amount of points that you want. So I'm going to go with custom for select coach. Can I put custom? Yep. Right, and then I'm gonna go to custom here as well. Elite, what's elite? Okay, we go higher than elite. Now we're gonna go custom. We want him to be. You know, we, we're gonna adjust this. So we're gonna go here and do this together. All right, offensive concept. So we already said that our coach is gonna be like defensive, and he's he's starting out. He's gonna start a FAMU, and FAMU is a D1 school anyway. So we're gonna put his defensive concept somewhere around 60. Yeah, 60. All right, offensive concepts, he's highly hyper-focused on, we're going to have our assistant coaches handle that, so we're going to put his starting out defense, offensive concepts, understanding offensive systems at 30, right, so he's lacking there a bit, so we're going to get us a, our scouting ability, you know, he's, he's kind of a rookie, we're going to put that at 45, we're not trying to be a super OP player right here, right, player development, 
we're gonna put that a little bit high we're gonna put that at 67 we're gonna put that at 70 so he's gonna be a good teacher and recruiting ability starting out we're gonna put it at 50 all right we don't want to be too bad we don't want to be great you know we are starting at FAMU so we see what we can do from that so that looks like a fairly balanced start right we're not great at offensive concepts we can have our our assistant coaches help us with our weaker areas and we only have two two things that we're really good we're decent at and one thing that we're average at and two things that we're low average at so we're going to go there offensive concept we're going to try to take the same way he's never going to get higher than a 70. i mean that's that's above average but it's not his strength we're going to do these defensive concepts at 100 and the scouting ability we're going to we're going to bring that up just a little bit you know as as, actually, we're gonna put that at 100 because the more you do it, he's 30 now. But the more you do it, the better he's gonna get. Player development. We're gonna put that at 84. We're gonna leave it at 84. So he only has a little bit of more room to go there. And recruiting ability. I kind of feel like it's the same as scouting, but I'm not gonna put it at 100 to not have everything at 100. So we'll see how. This is also going to help us understand how fast do these things progress with the game. Maybe it's too fast, and we can give the developer some feedback on that and how that happens. So here we go. We got our our skill setting of our player. We got a pretty normal player here to start ratings, and then potential ratings as we progress through the season. I don't want to have 100. That's just too much. There we go. We got 98. It's nothing's perfect. All right, so we go from there. Job selection. We're going to go to FAMU. There we go. Our prestige is hella low. Uh, our facilities are a C. Academics are a C-. Disrespectful. We have, if you're watching this, we have great academics. Don't let nobody tell you different. Rattler strike. So, they got all the colleges here, man. It's awesome. But we're going to pick Florida and look at that. Rattler! Woo! Florida A&M Rattlers, Tallahassee, Florida, Alfred Lawson Jr. Multi-Purpose Center. It's a pretty nice stadium, actually. I like it. I like when they build it. We're getting 100000 Three years. If that's what they really get paid. If that's what they really get paid, I need that job. Hopefully, I, I, I can show this out, you know, and be like, hey, man, I know how you build your team. I play draft day college, draft day sports college basketball. Let me on. Let me on. Cam okay, Famu's real coach. All right, so we're gonna finalize that. Save and finish, finish lead creation. Building player database. So let's talk about that. What we just experienced just now. Like the entire building process of that right there. It's excellent. Um, I'm happy that I'm seeing this in a franchise mode, in a simulation franchise mode for a basketball game. And when I think about NBA Live, when I think about NBA 2K, it just seems like stuff like this is missing. You know, when you look at the people that are making this game, if you go to their site, and they, they, they also make other games, right? It feels like there's a level of depth and love to these, these items. And I hope that in the future, you know, they're able to capitalize on this just just that portion alone and contribute to the video game market in the 3d space right so our nba lives our nba 2k you know or, or they might come and be able to develop their own draft day sports basketball and and create this in a 3d model like that would be great for franchise gamers for offline gamers the immersion that you can get from things like this, you know, putting the picture on your coach, deciding the skills, changing the challenge. Maybe you don't make the skills yourself. Maybe you just put, you know, I'm elite, I'm amateur. That's how you change the difficulty. Um, do it as well for, excuse me, for, you know, how your progression is going to be. Are you going to regress? You know, because you can see that you're going to put elite and then you can put your potential worse than at least you can put it at amateur so it's like as your coach regresses then you may have to rely more on your assistant coaching and stuff like that you know because there's still an individual behind the avatar that's controlling things 
but how does those things gonna affect how the team plays you know even though that you're making decisions and your guys are aggressing so there's a lot of wrinkles there that this game adds to you that it'd be nice to see in our NBA lives, in our NBA 2Ks, in our Maddens, just not, not just basketball games, but our, our sports games, which currently are bare bones when it comes to things like this. So a big up to Draft Day Sports, Wolverine Studios, College Basketball, and please go check it out because it's worth it if you like to, you know, manage teams and things like that. So let's look at our squad. It's the first thing that we see. This thing looks clean. Does this not, think, does this not look clean to you? Does this not look clean to you? Look at this. It's simple. I love that. I love it. I mean, this is not. This is. This is like the fourth time I've seen this screen, and every time I mean, like, this is. This is just great. It just looks so clean. Not cluttered. Not a whole bunch of things in your face. Now I don't know what half of this stuff means, but uh, hopefully through this series we can, you know, figure out what a lot of this stuff is. So these guys are on scholarship. All right, so who we got walk on? We got any walk on? Well, we got one walk on here. Let's look at this guy. Eric. All right. I know I'm asking too much. I know I'm already gonna say I'm asking too much. I looked at this team and I was like, there is too many people in this team that don't look like they belong at FAMU. Wait, not, wait. Please don't shoot me. I'm not gonna. Uh, let me let me rephrase that before somebody goes on Twitter and be like, oh my God, he said they don't belong. I just don't see them often at FAMU. That may have changed now, but I know I didn't see that many basketball players of this cultural background at FAMU. You know, it'd be great to change the culture, right? As I'm the coach of the team and just try to go for talent. But yeah, but let's let's go with our first walk on here. Who we got? Eric Grund Grundman, 18 years old. From Crestview, Florida, went to Crestview High School. That's a real high school. Just wanted to point that out. Dude, this is scrub. How does uh, Stephen A. S Stephen A. Smith said it? This guy is a bona fide scrub. Current rating less than a star. Potential rating he ain't going anywhere. As soon as we can get some replacements for this dude, he is up out of here, guaranteed. But here we go out of 100, he has 55 inside shooting ability, he has 59 outside shooting ability, 65 free throw ability. His actual ability to score is an 11. <laughs> it's increasing. I probably believe that home skill of biscuit, but when I look at the basketball team, it doesn't look anything like that. All right, I know for academics, you know, we get people from the islands of FAMU, we get people from China, we get people from all over the world. But in the basketball team, it's still some bunch of brothers, it's a, bunch, a bunch of brothers. But uh, let's talk about this a little bit. Some things that I would like to see in this game. I, I wish they had like a hovering thing. Like I hover. Over, this is one problem, like not a problem, but it, it, it's something that I think they can improve understanding of the game in all basketball games, in all sports games, really. Like you hover over it and it tells you what inside shooting means for a player that's new. You know, try to get them into the game understand what it means right inside shooting the player can shoot from you know from within 15 feet outside shooting you just hover over and it says what the player shooting is outside of 15 feet uh free throw uh his likeliness to make a free throw right scoring his ability now this is where it becomes intricate and complex his ability to actually score is piss poor so he is above average in these you know average being at 50 because it's from 0 to 100 so he's average at this above average slightly above average in these in these areas but he doesn't know how to utilize his skill with his actual ability to to showcase his skill right his passing is horrible so he does he have vision here his ball handling is below average so you don't want him putting the ball on the deck his offensive rebound, defensive rebounding, not good. His ability to draw fouls, right? This is pretty good. It's above average for the level of school I'm at. And uh, so this goes very well with his free throws. So he may shoot, you know, an average amount of free throws. His defensive ability, his ability to actually stop somebody, horrible. And this is something that is very crucial, and I like that they separated it. 
there's such a thing as a defensive ability that doesn't include you making a defensive action of blocking a shot or stealing the shot or stealing the ball. It is just your ability to stay in front of a man and defend properly. That's a 22. A horrible. His discipline, 48. His likeliness, I'm assuming this is his likeliness. I mean, if it had a little tooltip here of fouling or staying within the play. His athleticism is a slightly above average. You know, he's a college athlete. You know, it's in almost going green. His court IQ, how well he understands basketball on the court. Below average. So this guy really, he's you see him at the YMCA every day. You know, he's better than everybody at the YMCA, but he's not as good as everybody that's playing, you know, at a collegiate level. What do we have here? What else? Efficient proficiencies. Look, this is all things that you should have in a player profile when you're watching these NBA 2Ks, NBA Live situations. Like, it's a must. How well he understands motion offense, flex offense, high post, shuffle, Princeton offense. This is college, by the way, so I don't think they run. They don't, I don't never seen this run in NBA at all. Uh, triangle. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong if you have seen some Princeton offense in, in NBA. And I, I'm not too familiar with it myself, but I, I know I've never heard it talked about. Five out, one, three, one attack, two, three attack, one, two, two attack. Right? Same thing with defensive proficiencies. This guy doesn't understand how to play five out, triangle on offense. He doesn't understand how to play a one, two, one, one press. One, two, one, one press. He doesn't understand that. Yo, unhappy camper 40K. Thank you for coming through. Really appreciate it. Uh, for the next two weeks, I will be talking basketball. But two weeks after that, I will be playing back to back to Warhammer. But I wanted to do this. But thank you for coming through. I really appreciate it. Uh, streams are lit. But back to the detail of this small developer. Oh, not a problem, man. Not a problem. I saw you there. Uh, I saw you there uh, toiling with those factions that are trying to kill the Empire. It, it happens. You know, like, I come into your stream to check out how to play the game, too, because I play Wood Elf. So I'm trying to see the strengths that happen in other games. And, and you helped me out with that. So thank you for coming through. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. And I will see you, you know, on your streams more soon. Again, thank you for coming by. But back to Eric Grunman here. He doesn't understand how to play 2-3 song. <laughs> so that's crazy. For sure, man. For sure. Half court trap. He doesn't understand it. So again, floor range by percentage. His post ability, outside, and his actions on the ball. That what this instructs, this lets the people know is when he's driving, when he has the ball in his hand, what is this player likely to do? Is he likely to just grab it and shoot it? Or is he likely to just take put his head down and take it to the basket? As we can see here, 87% of the time, this dude is gonna shoot the ball. Because he's relying on his outside shooting and not so much in his inside scoring, being that Inside shooting is actually above average, but his actual scoring ability, his actually ability to create his own shot, is uh, is subpar. So he's gonna rely on his shot more than anything else. Let's look at a couple more things. Player, which one I clicked on here? That was his player bio. Now we got a player profile. I mean, the level of detail that Draft Day Sports has put into this basketball game. It's surreal. This is just one guy. Let's look at somebody else. Let's look at our best player. Uh, let me go to roster so I can line it up by our... Yo, we actually have a squad. I just... <laughs> hold up. I know this is automatically generated, but uh, they actually gave us some love, I think. I don't know what this means, but if this is exactly... I don't know if this is like in relation to where we are as a school within our conference, or this is like what we are with every school because you know but well, we can release a player all right legit we're not gonna do that this is a senior all right so i'm i'm guessing by looking at these attributes right that they're just pretty mediocre that this is in relationship to our conference so in our conference this guy is pretty pretty good it's out of five stars and he's at three and a half potential rating four yeah it's, it's, it's pretty it's pretty litty pretty nice so we're gonna go with Player profile here. 
So work ethic, good. So if you got a guy, I'm guessing the guy with bad work ethic, <laughs> he's not going to progress very well. Personality, a good guy. Playing time, he doesn't care. He's all about the team. He just wants to play. Popularity in the school, average. I mean, this is crazy, man. High relationship I just got here. Player stats, obviously. Yo, I'm impressed. Just all this stuff that I'm seeing that you see me react to, I seen it for the first time. I got into the game, but I never checked any of this. So I'm learning this with you. Ratings progression, it shows you that. Or oh, we can text the player. So we can have some more simulation and more immersion into speaking with the player. So just by looking at this, let's 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 evaluate our team. So again, I think that this overall is in relationship to our conference, right? We play in the Mid-Eastern Athletic. And it's not that great. So, mm, you know, let's look at a player from a different conference. That's what I really want to do. Uh, where could we go to see a good team? Here we go. Let's look at a very good team. Kansas Jayhawks. Let's look at their top tier players. Can we see their roster? Yes, we can. Actually, I could have selected it from right here. So we don't see their overall. Can we actually see their attributes? Oh. I went to see if I could see players' attributes. But this actually impressed me even more. The fact that I can't just see it outright. Because I already know what this means. I have to scout that team before I actually know what's going on with that, with that team. Let's see if we have knowledge... Let's go back to Big Ten. Oh, so they break it down. Let's go back. Can I go? What can I do here? What's this? Uh, strategy. Let's go back to. No, this is all Kansas. How do I go back to my team? Interesting. So now we're learning something together. Dashboard. Is it still Kansas? It is still Kansas. Poll media, and I still uh, hopefully I don't get stuck in Kansas. I am stuck in Kansas. Lol. Let's see. So we're both we're all learning here together because I this is my first time playing the game, and I just can't figure out how to get back to my team. So there, if the devs are watching this, find me a button or let me know how can I get back to my team. Let's try my office. Yeah, there is a drop down, but I kind of wanted to go back to like my team faster. So if I click my office, it puts me back into this screen, which then I can easily select back to my roster. Yep. So can I actually check the Howard Bisons? Let me check out Howard. See if I can actually know any information about their team. Nope. I also don't know any information about their team. So I do have to do some scouting, but again, all in the immersion of the game. And this is the kind of stuff that you need and be able to customize when you're playing games like NBA 2K. And, and the fact that you can do it here, I know it is able to be done in these next gen games. I know it's because this is all text. It has nothing to do with showcasing the product on the court. This is everything that you do before you actually play the game. And people say, well, that's a lot of work, you know, like, you don't have to do that, right? Like, this is something that should be an option to get immersed in the game. This is what allows you to, as a content creator, to create content, to create storylines, to create ideas for, like, how you want to progress throughout your season. And the fact that they're able to do this for over 200-something teams in college, like, it's unreal, right? And all these things tie together. And if a small studio can do this, and they've been doing this for a little while, these AAA titles should be able to, to, to provide this stuff. You know, like, it shouldn't be one of those things where you have to, like, sacrifice this level of immersion for nothing. Like, you're really, like, for nothing. You're not sacrificing anything. This is all stuff that you can do before you actually play the game. And once you play the game, that's a completely different realm. And I understand that there's going to be bugs and stuff like that. But I believe that if you gave players this level of detail for your simulation in these other basketball games like NBA Live, NBA 2K, they will be so much more happier. 
right? Because even your gameplay that's going to happen when you get on the court, that's going to only saturate a little portion, right? Because at the end of it, it, like in the old games, like NCAA Basketball 07, you know, and be, before then, you know, you had stuff like this. And it was great. It was so immersive. You can create, like oh, like I say, I, I keep repeating, you can create so much storyline, so much content, so much enjoyment of the game. Now it feels like it's all rushed. It's like we only let you allow to do two or three things and then just move on to the next game and just move on to the next game. And you don't really get immersed into your, your season, to your character. So what happens? You just let the game go. You just let the game go. And that also comes with the... We're making it a yearly title. And what I appreciate Wolverine Sports has done is they let you import that season that you had in your previous title to your new title. And now you can continue that storyline with the, with similar features and new features that they added. So all that progress that you've made isn't just erased. You can continue like 30 years from now. I can, like I don't know how long the seasons are. Again, if you're here at uh, Wolverine Studios and you're checking this out, I don't... Th that's something good to know. It's like, how many years can I go? Like, do this guy get 80 years old, 20, you know, 40 years old, whatever the case may be. So, I mean, this is just fantastic. Recruiting classes. Can we check out recruiting class? Oh, we don't have anything anymore. So let's look at our inbox. Let's move on a little bit. We're moving forward a little bit. We got a letter here from the athletic director. All right, they gave us 131,000 for. Our budget, and they give us four scholarships open for next year. Oh, so they they took away some money for my assistant coaches. Fifty nine thousand is what I got left over. We'll be seeing your entire budget of the year. Plan carefully. Don't spend it all at once. Thank God they told me that because I was going to definitely spend it all at once. Scheduling notice. Just want to let you know that the preliminary stages are putting together our non conference schedule for the season. I'm not going to touch this too much because I don't know the game much yet. So I'm going to the, let the computer do its thing for that. Scouting services. Like the detail again. You can purchase scouting reports. Like it's crazy. Skip the summer. Looking to get right into the season. I understand completely. So look for people that don't want to get so immersed. They even provide you an out. You know like here you go. You can skip to scheduling. You can skip to practice when practice starts happening you can skip the entire summer so if i don't want to do any of the early stuff right or i have like in the future i want to have um automated systems and i got the right uh, you know assistant coaches i got the right system in place where i can delegate tasks i can just skip to the season so there you go recruiting class here are the recruiting rankings for the entire association that's ranked by wolverine studio sports network FAMU, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? I know we're not 200. Oh, Jesus. That's tough. <laughs> 222 out of... I said 250 schools. 357. That's dedication to put these many teams in the... That's awesome. Oh, and a letter from the developers. Welcome to Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2021. Be sure to check the email often as you will receive news and information. Find options, sim controls, and AI controls for certain areas. You will notice the advanced button in the left. So it's over here. Use that button to activate the recruiting actions for the week. Applicable and advanced next week. All right. So what else we got here? Alerts. If you're employed as a head coach, you will, you will purchase your recruit scouting reports today. Click the advanced menu option. All right, cool. So this is for, so we don't really have much to do. Today's the first day, May 1st. We're gonna advance, do I have two? Yeah, I said this has two. Uh, can I look at my coaches? I guess we got people here that actually have not played this game before. So if you're just along for the ride. I was hoping to get some viewers that actually have played this game before. So they can probably help me coach me up. But well, we're going to learn together. Roster stat, recruiting depth, strategy, strategy. Does this gives me the coach. I just kind of want to see my coaches. Now we have a pretty 
crappy team outside of whoever this guy is. This guy has something that's really good at something. <laughs> He's inside shooting. What is he? Is he our center? All right. But our scoring as a team is just... Oh, this is, oh, this is plays. These are offensive proficiencies. I do want to see one more thing. Sorry, guys, before I proceed to the next. Who is our best scorer on this team? Because we got to put up points. Jesus, this is an 18. It's Earl Kellogg. And most of what he does is shoot from the outside. So we got a guy. We, we don't have anybody that can put the ball on the deck too much. I don't think so. So let me go see. This is defensive rebound. Handling. Yeah, we got this guy that puts the ball on the deck. So he's like shooting guy. Man, our point guard. Even our point guard isn't so hot. Jump, Jumper. Let me look at this dude right here. All right, so he can progress to be a little bit better, but his passing is awful for point guard. So I think that's what we're going to be scouting. Yeah, we, we need we need a the, first and foremost we need somebody that's going to lead our team offensively uh, to set up the team at least. Blocking, bad defense, man. We'll see. We'll see. Move to the next week. Our team is not very good. Um, South is reaching. Right, where's the southeast region? Right here. We're gonna go with the premium. We're gonna spend that thirty thousand. We're gonna try to get the best report that we can. We gotta try to get as much information as we can. Uh, first up, let's see what the AI suggests. It suggests basic. I don't know why. That'd be nice. Reports basic reports contain a list of the top 20 200 seniors in that region with info on interest in your school National international reports contain 150 players So what's that, that national and international report and yeah, I think it's 80,000 my G 100,000 for that international Yeesh. All right premium editions reports contain the basic edition information plus player rankings overall ranking by position one through five star ratings on top school pref and top school preferences. Uh, we're gonna go with. Oof. Yeah, we can't. We shouldn't be able to select both. So I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with premium. I'm picking Southwest because I'm in Florida, right? And I'm I'm not a high prestige school, so I don't think that I'm gonna get many recruits from these other areas. Uh, Atlantic East potentially I could get so I could probably do basic here but I'm gonna focus my entire scouting here on the southeast so I don't know if I'm making a mistake but we're gonna make it together stream we're gonna put 30,000 on that thing 30,000 I am so like risk adverse when it comes to spending money we're gonna listen to the AI why the hell not? Damn. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sorry if you know what? Advance. YOLO. YOLO, forget it. Alright. Simulated to May to June 25th. Alright. Interesting. What we got in our inbox? Summer travel schedule. No, I don't have a haircut. I got the fro still. It just looks like that because I'm getting it's getting matted down by the headset. <laughs> so, yeah, no haircut yet. Okay, coach, with summer camps rapidly approaching, we need to be able to book transportation and hotels for you and your coaches. Thanks for coming too, must monstrosity. Yeah, this does look clean, dude. Like. I just recently started showing off some of the the features that it had, and it's and it's fantastic. I, I just wish a lot of like our next gen, sorry, our next gen uh, games had this level of detail for offline play. Oh, Attend summer camps. Please click the advanced button to confirm your travel plans. Look, it, it's. Let's see what I got in the alerts. If you are employed as a head coach today, you will make your travel plans to attend any summer camp. All right. So let's go to advance. If there's anything that you want to see, I am not a comedian. I'm a very funny individual. 
sometimes other people would tell me otherwise but we don't listen to those guys or ladies we just do what we do all right so we're gonna advance to go summer camps oh look at this oh i forgot one thing i forgot one thing and i hope i can do it now this mod that i have they also tell me how to make sure that we have the right season tourneys like in season tourneys so let me look at that and i am going to go to game options which is up here let me do that i'm gonna do that right now tournament here we go and we can change this to the actual season tournaments that they're supposed to be so let me do that this the coaches classic is actually called a 2k 2k sports classic oh boy classic and then update so i you guys gonna catch me this i didn't set this up because i'm doing it with you they told me that i have to set this up as the season goes change logo this is all created by an individual and the logo it should be 1cm underscore 2k i don't see i see it here 1cm where is it i'm blind oh here it is open save tournament changes Oh, there it is. Let me let me capitalize this though. Make it look legit. Save tournament changes. So this is like the community already has put so much effort into actually continuing to make this game even better. So this one is called uh, NIT Season Tip Off. Tip off. All right, choose a logo. NIT season tip off is 1CM. 1CM NIT. It's an alphabetical order, I take it. Or oh, did he have it? No. Oh, here it is open save changes there it is Hawaii we got like 14 of these to go I am sorry about this I need to change this before we proceed too far and then it won't show up in the game Hawaiian shootout is actually the Maui Invitational if you know college sports you know you know about these these tournaments oh change logo sorry Maui Invitational, save, mid-national, it's called the Midwest, WS Mid, could not be changed, oh it's the Hall of Fame Classic, this one can't be changed, because it's locked for editing, alright cool, we're going on to the next one, Alaska, Advocare Invitational, the level of detail this game provides, Invitational, and that logo is into these jams. It's one CM Advocare. I was right on it. Save. All right, Sunshine Shootout. This was in Florida, Emerald Coast. Emerald Coast Classic. Emerald Coast Classic. All right, we're gonna change the music up a little bit. We've been listening to the same jams right now. Let's try some lo-fi. Let's see what that's about. Let's see if we got reggae.
Art of Jam tournament. And this is the one CM Paradise Jam. The good thing is they got these nice and orderly fashion. Fallen Heroes tournament, which is the Cancun challenge. Choose logo, Cancun challenge, safe turning. We got that one in there. Palmetto Shootout, which is the Charleston, North Carolina Classic. And this is the Charleston logo. That's it. Want to see them? Here it is. Open. Save. We got a few more to go. Golden State Classic, which is the Wooden Legacy. Change logo. It's called. Hmm. What, yeah, it's called Wooden Legacy. I passed it. Oh, here it is. We got two more. I think this is the Battle for Atlantis. Yeah, this is Battle for Atlantis. Trying to have as much authenticity as as we can into our save. Chase, choose new logo. Yep. One CM. One CM Battle for Atlantis. Here we go. Save that. And the last one, Hoops for Troops, which is the Diamond Head Coach Classic. Head Classic, Diamond Head Classic, sorry. Uh, because this is, this is not part of the game. This is like a community mod, and you had to make all those adjustments uh, to make it like the real NCAA. So, you know, they're not allowed to have NCAA. So a community mod is there. If anybody wants to have, you know, like this mods sent to them uh, at Jeff Cortinas, I will put it in the chat. DM me. And when you get this game, and I'll tell you where to go to get them. At Jeff Cortinas on Twitter. So check me out. And I will give this information to you. All right. So we're back and we're going to advance. I forgot that I had to do that. Oh, now we got to pick our summer travel plans to get recruits. All right. Let's see what the AI suggests. They want us to go to no camp up here, but I want to attend. Can I attend this one? Yeah, I want to attend the Georgia Superstars camp. It's in the East Coast. I don't want to go too far up. That's 3,000 right there. We're going to attend New York camp, Chicago. We're going to attend Memphis. And we're not going to attend any of these. They're on the West Coast. I don't think a lot of players that, you know, high school players should be able. What's going on, Pantless Steve? We're talking college basketball and other basketball topics. If you have anything that you want to talk about with college basketball or basketball gaming, ask away. Thank you for coming through. Destiny fam in the building. So we got that. Those are the... So we're going to go to those regions. Okay, I need a little bit, some a little bit more upbeat. I am sorry. I am messing up the music. What else should we let? What else do I got here? I'm going to go back to those hype bangers that I had before for chill pop. I think I'm going to go, let me try out, let me tell you hype, I mean, I chill pop. The melodies for reggae are too repetitive. <laughs> they get me every time. So, right? So we're going to go to these to go check out our recruits. Again, like, the level of detail. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Take, slow your roll. All right, Pantless Thief. You know, you just had me, I had to take like a deep, 
a deep hold up right there because there is absolutely no way that that scrub team that you call the Washington Wizards, which were better in name when they were called the Washington Bullets, are better than the Magic. Today they are, but uh, that's not going to be for long. Yeah, we're actually ranked 13th now and Washington's ranked 12th. But uh, nonetheless, Washington is not, it's not that, it's not that team, all right? They're getting a little bit lucky, and we got a little bit unlucky, so hold your horses, all right? Hold your horses. Let me, I'm going to go back to this. I'm not going to deal with you. Not today. Scrub Washington. All right, so we're going to advance, and we're going to go check out these camps here. Processing, financing travel, and initializing recruiting. Please be patient, as this process will take longer than others. We on the up and up. Man, I hope I hope you guys know, no joke aside, AC, here we come. If you guys are able to stay healthy, I can see it, because Orlando Magic is just beat, battered, and bruised. Every player that we have that's supposed to be a starter, for the most part, except Vucevic, is just injured just injured all right so we are in the recruiting now welcome to recruiting this message would only show on this date in the first season of career just to help you get situated there's a help button available to you on this page at all times which will help you with hints and tips I like this. Whether you're a grizzled vet or a series brand new to the game, the recruiting experience has changed drastically, so please take time to look around the screen. Don't forget to view the help selection uh, and well as dates button to make sure that you know when things are happening. All right. So let's look at the players first. This game seems like a lot. It is, it, it, but you don't have to have it a lot because they do have an option. I don't know if it's still up here. Uh, is it this one? Well, yeah, when you when you first started, these little three things right here, you could have just skipped to the season and let the and let the the AI do all this stuff for you. Like, that's the thing that I love about this game so much, and I just got it like two weeks ago. Uh, it's the level of detail that is slacking for people that want to create content in um. Uh, in NBA games today. In NBA 2K, it is the most deep basketball game because there's only one of them, right? But when NBA Live was around, it was awful. You know, you can only do a couple of things. Check the stats. Maybe be able to upgrade a player here and there. And then just go play another game. That doesn't really do it for people that actually enjoy the intricacies of basketball, right? Doing the recruiting, doing the trading. Like, they didn't even have a trade block or anything like that not a trade block but a trade uh, finder for nba live for the longest like it's it's, it's kind of like undercooked and you got to pay 60 dollars right for 30 dollars you get this game level of detail without the other portion of in-game gameplay but you can like we'll get to the point like Obviously, there's a lot of work here, and while I'm not streaming, I'm going to continue to play this game and progress a little bit before I come into the next episode. But there is an actual simulation, like, portion where you actually have an influence of the game as the coach that you are right now. And in the, in the pro basketball version, you can either be a coach or you can be a GM and just focus on team building or actually coaching your team as they're playing on the court. But in college, there is no GM. There's an athletic director, but the coach is essentially the guy that builds the team and then also coaches the team. So it's more intricate here, but I can obviously simulate a lot of this and give give the AI, you know, recruit for me, train for me. I can do that, which is, which is great. So let's look at what interest do we have. Cool, a bunch of one-star recruits. This is going to be tough playing as FAMU. Unless we have any Grizzly vets that have played this game that are lurking in the chat, please come help me. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to need it. We don't have anybody that's even warm. Jesus, everybody that we have 
is just doesn't want us. So what I'm going to do is South. No, I'm I'm going to go recruit by Florida first. Yeah, I got to start somewhere. You're in line. You're in line. Well, let's look. This is something that it was pointed out to me, and I enjoyed it a lot. Look, could I actually look at a state? Apparently, Steve, I don't know if you're from Washington or not. From D.C. Let's see if they have it here. Uh, they don't have D.C. here? District of Columbia. But if you are, if you are from D.C., let me know from high school senior. Oh, so you can't, I can't see it because it's not part of the scouting. All right, so let me go back to Florida. I was going to see the the colleges were, like the high schools. Because I was told that every high school in the state buy them all cars on the low. I got to, I'm, I'm going to finish my train of thought, Pantless Steve, and I'm going to come back exactly to what you said, right? But they told me that you can see all these Oh, what happened? From West Palm Beach, Florida. Do I have to recruit them? Let me try. How about this one? Class, high school senior. It told me, like, before I could see what college they were from. I wonder if that's a scouting situation. But it'll show here what high school they're from and stuff like that. Oh, no, it's right here. Right here. Jesuit High School. Senior. Jesuit High School. Let's see. Palmer Trinity High School. So let me look up, let me look that up. I mean that I've been living in Miami. Palmer Trinity High School, Miami. That's a real, that's a real school. Palmer Trinity School as an independent college preparatory, co-educational, like that's awesome. Talk about level of detail before I come back to your question, to your, to your comment. Bloomingdale High School, Valrico, Florida. Eustis High School from Eustis, Florida. I'm sure that's a high school. Niceville from Niceville, Florida. So, like, that's awesome. Like, that's something that, like, if you want to try to get students from, like, Pace High School. Like, they have all the high schools. All the Gainesville, East Side High School, Gainesville. Let me look at that one up. Since it's not the name of the city, East Side High School, Gainesville. Yep, another real school. Like that's that's just awesome. The level of detail that they have poured into that alone is just like wow, you know. But so let me see. Let me see. I'm in Maryland. And technically, but 30, like, let's see, let's see, Maryland. Let's see if we can find a high school here from Maryland that you may be aware of. South Hagerstown High School. Like, this doesn't look like it's just generic. And the fact that they put this, bon like, I'm sure these are high schools. But anyway, back to your point. Buy them all cars on the low and see what happens, right? You can actually illegally recruit in this game. I know. I know. Think about that. Think about that. You can actually illegally recruit the level of detail and you can get sanctioned for it. Yep. This game does that. The fact that you can, like, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to do it now. I'm actually going to go to, because I, like I said, I played a little bit. I'm going to go back to Florida, and I'm going to try to get some three-stars recruits, right? I doubt that I'm going to get them. I think this is going to be a shitty season for us. But I'm going to try to get none of these guys got interest, right? I can, I'm can. i going to put them in the both call list and watch list. That's what I'm going to put them on. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to try to get all these recruits right here. I'm going to try to see if I can get... Which was the highest ranked ones? Position overall rank. We need to overall rank. Now these guys are horrible. Like 2.5 GPA is 2.2. That matters if they're actually even eligible to play. 
if they don't act uh, eligible to play, if they don't pass the SAT, get you a scion then. I'm trying, man. Uh, if they don't pass the SATs, they cannot play basketball in school. They potentially go to a JUCO, which they also have here. Show high school and JUCO players, only JUCO players, right? There's no three stars that are JUCO. Let's see if there's any four stars that are JUCO. No four stars, any five star JUCO recruits? None. How about two? Let's Florida have any? You got two JUCO recruits, Roy Jefferson. Keystone Heights High School, but that's his high school before, but he's, he's been from, from JUCO, so he's a little bit older. And let's look at BJ Tillman. Actually, I'm going to try to recruit them. I'm going to put these guys on my list too. You know, try to go into that into that that pool. I'm going to watch film on this guy. Watch film on this guy. And let me go back to my three star recruits. Let's go with so high school and JUCO. I'm going to get the top recruits. I'm actually going to go out there. I'm actually I'm going to ask them to come to our school. Some of them are going to say no, but they won't. You know, they won't turn it down. So we're going to go give this guy, this guy a look, and this guy. Come to FAMU. Come come, come by Tallahassee. Come check Tally out. You know, Tallahassee, Tallahassee is what they call it sometimes. And also, let me watch some film while we're at it. I'm going to watch some film on these three-star recruits. I'm going to worry about the uh, Jason Mans. Oh, sorry, we did that one. We got a couple more to go. Watch film, watch film, watch film. All right, let's go down to tier two recruits. I only got one more film that I can watch on a player, and I'm, I'm just going for the highest ranked players right now. Uh, and we're going to watch film on this guy. So, uh, that's a good question, Pusha. Does their GPA affect their ball IQ? Uh, let's look. Can I actually see any of these guys? not be scouting for rate ratings yet so i do not know but as soon as i do some of this scouting we're gonna see if it's actually like impacts like if a guy has a 3.0 does he have high iq you know we'll see uh, i'm learning that too so let's go there's some couple of other things i can do let's go to the one star recruits and the people that are cool interest on us right now uh let's go again ranked by overall and we got nothing left here but our center let's add him this is center right here let's add him to the can I remove him actually let me click on him I just add him to the list drop the call list but keep him on the watch list let's text the recruit right it's a little cool let's text the recruit and here's the thing that I was talking to you about I thought maybe I could offer you some extra reasons to come play for me. You know that's some unsavory stuff right there. You know that right there, right above there, there's some unsavory stuff. So, I would like to tell you about our... I uh, just wanted to chat about things. So, I wanted to ask you some questions about your family. Tell me about your family. Gotta run, TT. <laughs> you don't even want to talk to me, bro. This is gonna be a hard situation, but I got 90% text. Let's try somebody else. That's cool. Let's try this guy. Dingus didn't want to be part of the squad. He didn't even want to talk to me. You're going to text this recruit. He's from Jesuit High School. Let me just give him a pitch. Let me talk to you about playing time. Because playing time is only one of the things I'm considering. Let's go back. I thought maybe I could offer you something. Look, look, here it is. Here it is. This is crazy. How would you like some free gear? Ten thousand. A thousand. Did you get the latest? Yo, if a system ever starts. Okay, okay. Let's let's be real here. All right, Wolverine Sports. This is suspect. Unless you're buying not, not even if you're buying the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation Five together, they shouldn't be two thousand dollars. Come on now. And what gear is $1,000? you like uh, be VIP to a nice concert? 5000 believable. Would you like to give you 10 large reasons to play for our school? Look at that. You know, if you come to our school, we have a sweet apartment we can put you in. 20000 Yo, you got a car, kid? You were talking about cheap car? 
<laughs> yeah, the limited editions. You ain't lying about that, Pusha. 3,500. Hey, hey uh, Steve. I, I don't think there's such a thing as a free car, bro. Or, or a cheap car. You straight up getting that 35, 35 Gs that you're going to have to put out. That ain't going to happen. So we're going to go back. He told us that he's considering about what playing time, so that's going to show up later. Let me ask him about his family. Not much to say on that. All right. I'm going to stop texting. We don't we don't want to rub him the wrong way. So we got some information on him. Let's see if it, it shows up again. Michael Gord. We're going to add him to our watch list. And let's see if that... Look, right there. We got some answers out of him. Playing in time is, is important. So when I give him a call, because I can also call him eventually when I have contact with the players. I'm actually going to add him to the contact list now, being that we got some some information out of him. Uh, we're going to try to text. we got a few more texts to go. Let me look at my roster real quick. Point guards. I already knew. I don't know why, why I actually didn't think about this. Nobody coming to play for a Kia. Hey, man, you can. I, I'll give you a BMW if you come play for me. That thing's going to be from the used car lot, and it's probably still going to be 35000 But you're going to get that BMW, my G. Don't you worry about that. You didn't say what condition. I get you a BMW. But let's go back to this recruiting thing. We're going to try to see if we can find ourselves a, a point guard down here. That if all else fails, if all else fails, we can try to get We can try to get him. So this guy right here, 5'10", Ray Lawson. All right. But it looks like he'll definitely be able to play for FAMU. Don't you worry about that. All right, we're going to text this sucker. Let me tell you about the school. You know, he's from Lake Mary. Lake Mary, Orlando, actually. That's in another high school right there. Hey, check out our location. Tell a nasty. Not sure. Is that all? No, bro. You know, like, give me some time. Don't rush away from me. I'm trying to tell you about you're going to get this playing time. All right, so he cares about playing time. And you know what? We got two things. All right, we're good. Stop texting. We're going to leave him at that. He responded. We're going to add him to both... The watch list and the call list. This is ball house fails. We're going to try to get this scrub right here. we got to get one more point guard that's actually. So we're going to recruit by positions. All right, so we got this guy that's cool. This guy right here, Trayvon Oliver. Eustis High School, man. Eustis got a couple of a couple of schools, right? So we're going to text this sucker too. Hey, let me ask about your parents. I'm trying to ask it. Okay, look, this guy actually opened up a little bit. He opened up a little bit. Okay, well, I live with both my parents, and they're pretty nice people. Neither of them attend your school, attended your school. So, this gives me some context clues about heritage and actually getting a parent that potentially have attended my school, which would help me with my recruiting. They don't have a lot of money. So, I know if I was to do like, hey, man, let me throw some money your way, this guy would just eat it up. Immensely. So, well, maybe. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try to keep some level of integrity unless my job's on the line. Or, not my job, Joaquin Milton's job. So, we should see. So, we asked that question. We're going to ask one more question right here. You know, he cares about his parents. They're pretty nice people. So, let me pitch location one time. Ten, nah, sh you crazy, fam. I'm not getting ten big reasons. He's not getting to him. I don't know anything else. He don't even want to talk to me. So I'm just going to stop texting. But I add him. Add him to the call list. He gave me a little bit of information. Oh, so you can actually click between parents info and recruit info. All right. So we go there. I still got a couple of more calls to make. Let me check out my roster. What seniors I have. Right, I got some backup. <laughs> you take the Kia if you get to dunk on Pusha at least twice every practice. Ooh. Hey, Pusha, man, I'm going to need you to take one for the team. You know? You know what I'm saying? You need to take one for the squad and get dunked on a couple times. I mean, what's what's to it? All you have to do is just, you know, I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to picture that. But it'll be funny to watch. It'll be funny to watch. So, as seniors, we got... We got decent backup. We don't have very good. Well, we got decent backup as a, a center. We don't have anything. The shooting guards, they're both seen. Oh, that's where we're really going to need some. Yeah, unless we develop this guy here, Eaton Williams, very well. We got two shooting guards that are just 
are gonna go and I'm probably gonna have to end up playing one of these shooting guards as point guards because my point guards are horrible unless they reach their potential and their potential is not guaranteed he said boy I was all defense when I played basketball you ain't dunking on me bro he said all defense when did you play basketball pusher questions 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 I want to hoop I want to hey hey if we ever see each other you're gonna get them buckets young Kobe so we need to go find ourselves a shooting guard Let's take it back over here to the recruiting. Let's go to shooting guards only. Mark Anthony. He might be trying to conquer Rome. And Mark Anthony is a is a brother. Six foot five from St. Pete, Keswick Christian High School. Let's holla at your boy. Let's ask him about his parents. Not much to say. We're good. One more, one more question. Let me tell you about our school. Let's tell you about playing time. That seems to matter. Playing time is the it's only one of the things I'm considering. I'm going to try my, my luck a little bit more because I really do need another shooting guard after this season. Zero offense. That was Ben Wallace on the court. <laughs> I'll be there in two months. Find a court. Oh, man. This guy. Oh, man. Hey, make sure that you get your ankle braces ready, bro. I just want to put that out there. It's, hey, hey Pusher, don't be shying down either. I'm the shortest one talking all that smack. You got a six foot six guy and a six foot guy talking, and I'm, I'm five foot eight here trying to talk about. I'm gonna rise up on it, fool, and lay it up. <laughs> and let me pitch location, see if he cares about location. I don't know. He don't want to talk anymore. I tried my luck. Uh, and I'm gonna give this guy a shot too. He's actually ranked a bit higher. God awful, horrible ranks overall. But we gotta try to. Try to get there. Actually, let me let me go holler at some of the three-star recruits. They're probably gonna tell me to kick rocks. Yeah, you better start conditioning now, boy. Cause we gonna, you're gonna be running. So the three-star recruits. Let me text a couple of them. Uh, who's the highest ranked ones? Donnie Shepard, power forward. All right, Donnie. He looks like a real happy chap. Like he's on speed or something, though. Look at that face. Let me text this recruit. Sorry, coach. I'm busy some other time. If I put this, you and me, if I put just a couple of quick texts, he's going to tell me, like, lose my number. Let's see. <laughs> lose my number. Okay, I figured. All right, cool. That's how he feels. We got some more texts. We're going to do it anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, for real. Like, I haven't played in probably about a few months. Um, I got some videos on Twitter of me dribbling the ball, never taking a shot. I'm not, I'm not a great of a shooter as I used to be. I should say that. I still got the vision. Don't got, don't got the curry with the sauce though. All right, so we're gonna try to get this center. See if he's gonna talk to me. Come on, man, just a couple of quick texts. Nah, I lose my number. All right, cool, cool. You know, we we're telemarketers here, man. We gotta try to get these guys. Who the point guard? I'm gonna try to holler at you, boy. Come on, man. Nah, and I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm coming back, boys. I'm not giving up. Do I got any more text left? Another point guard. Oh, hey, I ran out of text. So we're gonna move on to the next. The next, uh. Next day. Let's see what we got here. Recruiting begins. Yeah, yeah, we already know this. They finally be aware of minimum test score. Okay, so that be aware that minimum test score for entry into FAMU is 860. Okay. Scores are finalized as of January 28th each year. So please make an effort to recruit players who will meet that score. Only recruit players at the end of the season who have met that score. All right, all right. Because if they don't have that score by January 28th, they can't play basketball in your school. Yeah, that would be cool, uh, Steve, Bella Steve, trying to find a rec league. And, and at 6'6", six, six, man, they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, He's 6'6", six, six, you know, let them hoop. When I try to find a rec league and I walk through and they're like, you're 5'8". You want to play bench? I'm like, all right, I'll play bench until you let me on the court. Then I got that bomba for you. And you're going to just start dropping. Just start dropping them. I'm going to drop some dimes. I also play pretty good defense. But I'm looking forward in two months if you are going to be down there. Push is going to be tired and out of breath. <laughs> yeah, first round draft pick, 100%. <laughs> First round draft pick. 
100%. When you're tall, you don't even if you can't ball. Like I seen some scrub dudes at the, you know, at the, you know, when you go to the courts outside, <laughs> six foot eight, boy, we like right next to the rim, airballing layups, and I'm just sitting there like, that's what you get for picking that scrub first without knowing. But you know, height matters in basketball, because you still got to get over him to shoot the ball, so he could probably play defense. He'll probably play defense. All right, so we got. Coach, I just want to let you know that I appreciate Tammy Steph. Yo, so this guy might actually talk to us, fellas. You know, he might actually talk to us. Jason Menser. I've got some more schools to check out. All right. Another three-star recruit said that he actually appreciate the times, gave you all the visit. All right, Donnie Shepard, all three of the people that we got. That's all three of the people that we got. They actually for the three star recruits. When I played this game the last time, they were like, "This shit didn't help. We don't want to talk to you." So, let me look at these fellas. Oh, and look at his grades, man. We can still text this recruit, boys. We are going to try to get us a three star recruit. I hope so, because our team needs some help. So we don't know what his top ten schools are. He actually talked to us. Let's go ahead to what else we got? National camps. Summer camps begin to kick off. Recruiting begins. All right. So we got three people that actually listen to us. Going to the recruiting evaluation. So now, ooh, and they're cool now. So that means now when we actually text them, these guys might actually talk to us. Again, for Wolverine Sports, if you're watching this, please, please. Just give us a little bit, like, synopsis of what does this mean? Like, eval. Like, I get, is he a, like, a B? Like, our evaluation of him is a B? Or his evaluation overall is a B? I'm, I'm quite unsure how that works. So, he knows how to press in the 2-2-1. Two, two, this guy's inside shooting. He's a center, right? He's a power forward. Six foot seven. This is a, a 2K prototype power forward. Six foot seven, 197 pounds. That one's for you, monster. He's a, he's a clone. He's from Miami, Florida. Ransom Everglades High School. I've never heard of that high school. But Miami's pretty large, so. Probably it's like a magnet school or something. But this boy can score too, a B minus. Slightly above average. I would take that. Donnie Shepard. Let's look at Jason Merritt, a point guard that we need. Horrible inside shooting, good at, you know, above average outside shooting. He's actually fairly good at scoring too. So we're going to kind of put all our resources and focus into getting these guys. So the three people that are cool right now, we're going to scout live. Scout live. We're going to scout live. We're going to use all our scouting on them. Yeah, yeah, we saw that athleticism, you know, but which one was it? Was that the point guard that was athleticism F? Uh, C plus, that's the point guard. The small forward. Athletic. Oof. And also, don't let him shoot no. Don't let him shoot any free throws either. So, but I'm going to scout him live, see what happens. I'm going to continue to watch some film on this guy. I'm going to, you know, I'm throwing the kitchen sink at these fellas. I got to, I got to, I got to make sure that. We put some attention and eyes on these guys. We're going to see if we can poach them from one of these other top schools. And let's look at Ron Clark. Inside shooting A+. Plus. This dude's going to be a gem. His scoring is a B+. Plus. Rebounding is a D+. Plus. That's that's concerning. Right? But we're going to try to build a culture here. Maybe we can maybe we can do something. Right? I, I really wanted some defensive players. But I also want to win games. And maybe I can get that. Let me, let me look at the point guard. And you can get that in the, in the top position. Shot blocking, ball handling, defense, C minus. These, these guys are all offense, huh? Uh, let me look at Ron Clark. Defense, C minus. Yeah, these guys are all offense. So, we shall see. We shall see. Let me check out, see if we can, we can actually dial them, but I, I'm going to wait a little bit. I am going to send him a text message. I'm going to try to hit him up again. Text him. Hey, coach, what's up? This time it's not like he's busy, right? 
So let me chat about things. Let me ask him about his family. I don't know anything else. Let me tell you about his school one more time. You're going to be pitch playing time. Well, got to go talk later. He didn't really want to chat. But we're going to go check him out, and hopefully that increases his interest. All right? We're going to go to Ron Clark. Same thing. Ask him about the fam. Not much to say on that. We did. I'm going to ask him one more time about some playing time. He don't want to talk either. All right. But at least this time we're cool, right? So we got a little something, something. Gonna text him out. I'm gonna lead off with the same thing. Okay, this guy, this he, Jason Menser, opened up. He then went to. We don't have a lot of money, but all right. So go back. Let me tell him about the school. Pitch location. I don't know anything else. Stop texting. All right. We're good with that. Let's go to two stars. None of these guys. Did we get? We didn't actually get anything on these guys right here. Did we get any views? Wow, well, we gotta watch film on these two. They're on my call list. Watch film, and also I'm gonna I'm gonna host. I'm gonna host a top tier ones here, which is host recruit. Host recruit. And actually I'm gonna host this one too, see what happens. I'm trying to work on these, you know, these individuals here that are probably gonna see me through. And let me start watching some of the one star recruits that I actually already have on my Oh, this guy's warm. Alright. I have to build like this is just a recruiting phase like I'm not even in the, the actual gameplay phase so right now I'm just trying to see like what kind of recruits I got I already got the entire squad for this season right so recruiting how it works in you know NCAA is yeah he's a one star though for being warm he's, he's like a last resort but I'm gonna still try to keep him it, it actually goes cool warm hot and uh, we'll go from there so we'll see that man gonna get you 16 and 10. I hope so. I hope you're talking about that one star, though. Uh, that boy's gonna get me some bench and bench time. Because I still got some players here. But my team's already filled out. So the way it works out, Pusha, in, in, in college, is you do this recruiting as the summer how it starts. Then you go through the season. And hopefully by before the season is finished or before this whole entire period is finished, you already have secured some recruits. So when next year comes and you have to go through this again, you already have some recruits that are able to come in, like, you know, and, and contribute. So right now we're planning for next season in our recruiting phase, right? So we're here with Michael. He's six foot eleven. You know what I'm saying? He's 285 pounds, a big body, big body. So. We're gonna watch film on him. We're gonna text recruit, see if we can get anything out of him. Just wanted to chat about things. Let me tell you about the school. I already did that, so we got some information about that. Let's see if we can get, not much to say on that, are we good? Let me try one more. Pitch conference versus conference is only one of the things. So we got a little bit of that information out of him. So that's good on that. Okay, cool. Only reason why I asked is because I would just grab me a five star and some two stars and call that a day. Okay. In theory, that is what I would like, right? But here's the thing. I'm FAMU. And there's people like... Who, who could I say? Pull Media, right? Like the top 25 that are recruiting the five star recruits. Why and like and, and I'm pretty sure that this game is accurate enough that as FAMU, if I try to get a five star recruit, they're just gonna look at me like, ha, <laughs> you funny, huh? Because they're not gonna pass up the top 25 in some of these schools, not even the top 25, right? Uh, polls. I wish I could go a little bit further. Can we go further? Like, let's talk about let's talk about a prestigious school that is not in the top twenty-five. Georgetown, right? No, they're in the top twenty-five. They're nineteen. 
St. John's, another school that was prestigious, Seton Hall, Marquette, you know, Butler, Florida, is Florida State in the top 25 in this save? No, they're not. Florida State, Miami, Miami, Florida's here, so they're in the top 25. Now, let's go into the hundreds. Marshall, FIU, FI, yeah, Florida International. Alabama, no, they're not they're not pretty prestigious. I know FIU had a good team once upon a time. Mm. Rice, yeah. Long Beach, UC Irvin. Cal State Fullerton gets some pretty decent recruits. West Virginia, Baylor. Like, it's not just gonna be like you're gonna get that five. No, no, here's the thing. Like, even if you do that, like, blow the budget on that five-star recruit, they're not going to make it, right? So if I, and, and I, I'm still trying to be respectable, right? So in my first season, I, I throw money at him, say, I'm going to buy you that Kia, and he shows up, right? And then the NCAA finds out, because how the hell did FAMU get a five-star recruit? Because there's investigations in this game. Right, the AI is gonna do some process. I'm, a, I, I, that's what I've been told. I haven't seen it firsthand. And then you know, I got that five-star recruit. And now I can't recruit anybody. I got one scholarship per season. And I gotta take nothing but walk-ons. So, yeah. And that's the level of intricacy that this game provides. It's like you gotta be strategic. And I like that. And if games had this, it'll be like a much more immersive level. 2K, it's it's all right. You know, it's, it's, it's a great game. It's a triple-A studio. And this this is our indie devs creating this level of detail. I know a triple-A studio can provide this and also provide their microtransaction games. They can also provide their, their uh, PvP modes. So, you know, these guys, these guys got a great product here that appeals to people that like franchise mode. And the only thing that needs to happen is, like, opinion. Right, they can they potentially can be very successful with this method right here, but it's take this and then use it to create an actual visual representation in the court like 2K NBA Live, like other games do. But continue to keep this as the core of the game because the most important part about the core of this game, to me, outside of the immersion of how the season as storylines interact is this right here this section right here which gives the players a way to operate and when we go further through this two weeks like i said i'm going to play this also so i can kind of push on into the season and you can actually see the game being played in 2d form this actually matters how the game comes out simulated you know like you will see that when this player actually starts a simulation, he would shoot 62% of the time instead of drive 38% of the time. These tendencies and these personalities that these players have. You will see that if I, for example, try to play a 1-2-2 two, two press using this player or players in my team that don't know how to play a 1-2-2 two, two press and I make them press, it's going to be ineffective and the other team is just going to slice through us like, like butter. So... These things matter. These things matter. Their personality, their playing time. Like, they have zones here, how well they shoot from different areas. Like, this is gonna matter. So, that's the most important part for me. How these attributes project to results. So, as we progress with this series for the next two weeks, I hope you can see the wonder that is this level of detail to content creation of simulation basketball. Uh, I thought we were going to have more people in the stream to be able to talk about NBA 2K and NBA Live. It didn't come through. Thank you guys for coming through. I'm actually going to close the stream for today and in a few minutes. We're going to round off these recruits. But I just wanted to let you know, like, this game has massive potential. Massive potential. And they've been doing it for six, seven years, I believe. It's the, let me see the, their forum real quick. And I tell you how many games they had. Maybe more than six, seven years. The earliest post I see is 2015. So, yeah, six years. 
maybe longer. So, but they per they attempted to perfect that craft. Let's see here. So we got a few text messages that we still got to go. Uh, we got this guy warm. I want to go watch almost everybody that is. Uh, did I watch? Let me look at the three level stars real quick before I continue. All right, so we watch these guys. This is not seen kind of player who gets into the post often. You think they actually had v ball coaches input make this, or they just coaches themselves? I think it's a uh, tangent, right? I think there are some. There's. I think there's somebody in the team that is that has high level knowledge of basketball. Could be a coach. Could be a high school coach. Could be a you know a, a college level or a pro. You know that that's trying to get into game development and also just having good sense of analytics and how sport works because I don't think that you can create this level of immersion that I'm about to show offensive proficiencies right here without some actual knowledge of basketball right like this is also like available for mainstream like you can have like player types these are like what the badges are considered right here but it's just giving you a descriptor on the trait of the player. So this section right here is what tells me that there is someone that knows the college game of basketball. And they know that they have to, because it, the game is still represented in a 2D model in some fashion. So you'll probably be able to see these formations and tactics carried out in a 2D model. So... It's a power forward. What? Hey, man! New age basketball doesn't get in the power in the in the post very often. He said he's he's out there. He's a stretch big. So let's go back to this recruiting. We already checked these fools out. Tubbs. Very little interest in coming to our. <laughs> Forget you, Tubbs. <laughs> but we got three guys that are cool. Hopefully, our conversation with them helps. Oh, I invited these three guys. I need to try to invite these three guys on the next uh, recruiting phase. So let me go to the two stars and actually do some uh, watch film on these guys. All right. Watch film. Watch film. Watch film. So I haven't put these guys in my watch list. All right. So, evaluation. I don't even... Like, and this isn't... Like I said, there should be tooltips right here to tell me what this even means. I, I'm not quite sure. Oh. Right there. We saw it. Right there. Trying to look at the camera and point. I'm, I'm retarded. Right? Thank you, Wolverine Sports. And I'm over here trying to tell you what... But you just have it in a different... In dates. Quiet period. Call recruit. Watch game fail. Host recruit from campus visit. All right. Evaluation period. Call recruit. Watch game film. Watch recruit in live games. Contact period. You can actually call. So evaluation. I can call a recruit. I'm gonna go call a recruit. Visit recruit at home. And contact period. All right. Dead period. Call recruit. Watch game film. All right. Close. Let me let me call some recruits. I guess I got somebody in my call list. Hmm. Who am I going to call? Let me call a three-star recruit. Hopefully, I don't mess up the time. Let me do some, some scouting real quick. None of them told me anything about time. All right. Uh, how do I call a recruit? Oh, dial. Let's dial Jason Menser. He said he wanted to come. He wanted to come through. Dial recruit. Let's see what happens. 45 minutes remaining. Hey, hello, coach. What do you want to discuss? Pitch areas. Pitch playing time. To factor, but it's only one of the things that I'm considering. All right. Uh, school location. Sorry, coach, I don't have anything to say about that. Anything else? Never mind. So I will certainly make make one call. So 
and call. All right, so let me try one of the one-star recruits that is warm. Let me see if I can actually make a call with him. Dial. Shoot, I messed up. Pitch areas. Comfort. So he has, he has playing time. So let me go school locate. Okay. Oh, there we go. Playing close to home is very important to me. This is a big factor in my decision. All right. Back. You can, you can do bribes, bro. Look at this. Like I said, like this is crazy. Every time I see it, it, it just kicks me out. General information. Uh, let's discuss your interest in our school. Well, coaches, if right now you guys aren't in the mix, I don't know that if that would change over time. All right, let's talk about your parents. Sorry, coach. I'm tired of talking. I can't. You just DM me some questions later and call. All right, my bad, big dog. My bad, big dog. Let's see if we can get this call out to Ryan Lawson. Pitch areas. We already got playing time. Let's go. It's the number one priority. All right, and call. So we ran out of time to talk. So we're going to end it there with that. I'm going to continue to go through this. I wanted to showcase the introduction to the game. I hope I did a decent job. I am also learning, so please don't take what I'm doing as the correct way 100% to play this game. As I am also unsure. Like I said, I put in the title. I'm a noob at this specific data management, uh, general managing of basketball. If this was football manager, I got you. I played that quite a bit for 11 years, so I actually understand it. But if there's anybody that's coming through in the VOD later on, and you actually, this series is going to continue for two weeks and, and further beyond, I just have some other commitments to other games that I want to play and showcase to the community. But I am definitely going to be talking basketball. Next one, we're probably going to talk about that real NBA, what we're playing the game and going through some of the, some of the other features that this game has. But thank you for coming through into this stream. I really appreciate it. On behalf of Chimera Team Gaming, where we let our passion for gaming come at three-headed beast, I am Rockos Mos D. Thank you for coming through and hanging out with me as I introduce to you College Basketball 21 by Wolverine Studios, aka known as Draft Day Sports College Basketball 21. And you will be seeing more from me this coming Wednesday and Friday. Thank you, Rockos Mos D. I am out.